The Groove Doctor has many creative applications, but at its heart lie three core features. Number one is its ability to quantize audio and apply audio grooves. This is especially useful for drums and percussion, but in truth it can be used on any audio file that possesses a rhythmic quality. Number two is the Groove Doctor's Tempo Map Extraction feature. The Groove Doctor will analyze and create a tempo map for your edit based off of any audio clip. This is really useful when working with, say, a drum performance that wasn't recorded to a click track. With Tempo Map Extraction, Waveform's click track will adapt to and follow the tempo fluctuations and MIDI clips will automatically sync and align with the drummer's performance. Number three, and perhaps my favorite, is Groove Extraction. With a few clicks of the mouse, the Groove Doctor can extract the feel and groove from any audio file. For example, we could extract the groove from a favorite drum loop of ours, save it, and then apply it to other clips in the edit. This doesn't just apply to audio, it's possible to apply these grooves to MIDI and step clips too. In this installment of the tutorial, we're going to focus on core feature number one by quantizing some drums. Okay, we'll start by working with this stereo four bar drum loop file. Let's take a listen. Notice how the hits don't fall exactly on the beat. Now if we were looking for a loose feel, this could work fine, but for the purpose of this video, we want it tight and right on the grid. So with no further delay, let's click on the audio clip and then navigate all the way down to the Groove Doctor icon in the toolbar. A quick click and its UI comes into view. If you wish, you can assign a keyboard shortcut to the Show or Hide Groove Doctor window command in the Settings panel. I've assigned this to Shift plus G. You'll notice that the interface is split into four sections and that most are greyed out. That's because the Groove Doctor takes you through a step-by-step -step process where one through four it analyzes, separates, quantizes, and smooths our audio. But before we can do any of that, the Groove Doctor must capture something to work with. If we click the big capture selection button, you'll notice that the start and end points have adjusted to the start and end points of our audio clip. You can also see that a white boundary now contains the selection that the Groove Doctor will work with. When it comes to capturing time, there are three options. From selected range, from loop range, and from selected clips. Similar options are in place for tracks, but seeing as we're working with a single track, we'll revisit this later. In the view section, we have zoom options and buttons that will take us to the previous or next clip in line. This is very useful when checking and adjusting edits. This checkbox gives us the option of showing or hiding the transient detection. We're going to keep this checked for now. And finally, we have this little trash can icon, which will remove all transient markers. This is very handy if you're looking to start afresh. With our selection captured, we're ready to start working through the steps. We can set which tracks to analyze from this menu. It's already set to From Select Tracks, so we're good to go. The Operation menu lists the Groove Doctor's key functionality, and we'll leave this set to Quantize Groove before clicking the Analyze button. Notice how the main transients are automatically detected. The sensitivity can be adjusted, and this will give us either more or fewer transient detections depending on which way we move the slider. Padding can be applied if you want the separation to occur slightly before or after the transient. This is useful if you don't want things placed right on the grid. We'll leave this set to zero milliseconds. If the automatic detection needs some refining, transient markers can be added by holding the shift key and mouse clicking. They can be removed by holding shift and mouse clicking on an existing marker. Notice how the icon changes from a plus sign to a minus sign. Finally, the transient markers can be moved with a simple click and drag of the mouse. Here I'm going to make a few adjustments, ensuring each marker is well placed. Before clicking separate, we have the option of taking a snapshot. This is done by clicking the camera icon and giving the snapshot a name. This is a really useful way of saving the state of a clip before performing an action. In this case, the snapshot will allow us to quickly revert to the time before the separation was made. 
These snapshots can be found and recalled from the Track Snapshots menu. OK, let's click Separate and we're on to the Quantize stage. Here we have the option of quantizing the drums to the grid or to a swing preset listed in the Groove menu. If you choose to quantize to the grid, you can set the grid strength. At 100%, the drums will fall right on the grid. As you continue to lower the slider, the looser the quantization becomes. This is useful if you wish to retain some of the feel of the original performance. In this instance, I'll leave it set to 100%. I'll now click the Quantize button, and the separated clips are quantized as expected. Let's take a listen. So we can hear that the loop is now nicely synced with the click track. The only issue is the pops and clicks that have been introduced, and this is where the final smoothing step comes into play. Here we can set a crossfade size and click smooth to fill the gaps. It looks like it's done a good job. Let's take a listen. That sounds much better, and I think we're ready to consolidate our loop. Clicking Consolidate will join each of the separated clips into one clip. So now we have a basic understanding of how the Groove Doctor operates, let's try fixing some multi-track drums. First, let's take a listen to what we're working with. There's nothing terrible about this performance, but I need it to sync perfectly with other loops in the edit. I'd like to retain some of the feel of the performance, so we'll just focus on getting the kick and snare hits on the grid. Quantizing every hi-hat can often sound unnatural. Let's start by creating two edit groups. First, for the kick and the snare. Simply highlight both tracks. Right-click and select Create Edit Mix Group from selected tracks. Let's name this group and check editing. We'll now create a group for all of the drum tracks, so let's highlight all of them and again follow the same steps. With the kick and the snare clip selected, it's time to open up the Groove Doctor. As before, we'll click on the Capture selection, but this time we'll go to Capture Tracks, where you'll notice the groups that we have just created. We'll click on the kick and snare group and then move on to the analyze stage. With the operation mode set to quantize groove, click the analyze button and the transient markers are generated. It looks like Groove Doctor has done a good job, but let's go through and check. Once happy with the markers on the kick and the snare, we'll apply them to the rest of the tracks before separation. This is to avoid any kind of weird phasing. Click Set Tracks to separate and choose our All group from the menu. Notice how the transient markers are now applied across all drum tracks. Once separated, I'll set the grid to 8th notes and the strength to 100% before clicking Quantize. Let's take a listen. Like our previous example, the beat now falls nicely on the grid, but it requires some smoothing to remove the gaps and pops. Let's set the crossfade to 5 milliseconds and click Smooth. The final step here, and an important one, is to manually go through and check each of the fades. We want to be sure that the transients are not being masked by the fades, as we want these drums to maintain their punch. Let's enable the editing capability for the group all drums and then check each fade by using the back and forth arrows on the Groove Doctor. Once that process is finished, we can click Consolidate and take a listen.
There we go. That's sounding much better. Well, that brings us to the end of part one of this tutorial. Part two will focus on extracting both tempo maps and grooves. Thanks for watching.